Hello everyone, this is Paul with Jones and Four Tools, live from the JFT studio. Today, we are reviewing the Harbor Freight Daytona 3-ton jet. What a tool. All right, let me tell you a little backstory. I've had this now about two years. Uh, and the reason why it looks so shabby is because I leave it outside. I don't leave it directly in the elements, but uh, it's outside and it's starting to look a little little rusty, a little dirty. It, it don't have that beautiful shine that it had when I first bought it. But let me tell you what, it's been a great one. Uh, let's take a closer look. It has a long handle. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise it up so you can see how many pumps it takes to get to fully extended. One, two, three, four. Now, of course, this don't have a load on it. I think you guys are going. There you go. Okay, that's, that's full all the way up. Uh, man, I, I, I tell you what. The, the only problem that I had with this is not, it's, uh, which tire was it? Oh, it was one of the rear tires. Uh, here, let me let this down, I'll show you. Of course, you just let it down, you just turn this left or counterclockwise, goes down, bada boom, bada bing. Now this ain't the low profile one. All right, so let's tip it up. This tire right here, I had to uh, put some lubricant in it because it was it was seized up. Uh, but I just sprayed some or WD-40 and then some lubricant, and now it just it does what it's supposed to. It's my fault. I should keep it in the shop, but but I don't. Um, I tell you what, the heavy jack. But I have a. Uh, um, 2004 GMC Yukon and I need some heavy duty to lift a big monster up and this does it with no problem uh, I, I can't say nothing bad about it um, when I bought it I bought it on one of their parking lot sales I'm trying to remember um, at that time I think the normal price was like 149 I probably got it for 109 that's what I'm guessing I can't remember uh, but uh would I buy this again? You better believe it. Without a doubt. Love it. Uh, even though the price went up, I would still buy it again. But, actually today, I did buy something. And I'm just going to do a quick little look at it. Because I'm going to do a video on that here next. But here it is. There it is. The Pittsburgh Aluminum Racing Low Profile 3 Ton Jack. But anyway, that's for the next video. Um, the only reason why I bought that aluminum one instead of another Daytona is because I got a killer deal. So if you want to know about that deal, tune into that next video on that one and you'll find out. But listen, if you like this type of content, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let us know what you think about the Daytona Jacks. Uh, good or bad or whatever or a great alternative um but anyway uh here at jones and for tools we we value your time and we thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us and we look forward to seeing you on our next video have a great day